joined by head football coach Adam Clark and coach so far. You know, how's the summer going? I haven't talked to you in a while. How's everything been going for you so far? Been good, been good. Uh, I feel it's been productive, you know, just trying to manage our roster, dealing with, uh, you know, players that, that need summer school and trying to get them right and uh, bringing in some transfers and making sure all of our freshman commits are, are on track and just trying to get all the logistics done from that standpoint. Uh, at the same time, myself and, and uh, our staff members have been around going to clinics, uh, do work in camps, uh, out recruiting for the spring, starting to work on class of 2015. So the last couple months have actually been uh, very, very busy, and we feel uh, very productive. You talk about the clinics. You went out to Hawaii there. You went out to, to, to Texas. Talk about how, how those clinics have gone and, you know, to kind of help brand the, the market of Western when you're out there as well. Uh, it's great in any, any, any form when we can get out around high school coaches when we can get the, the chance to listen to, uh, to other football coaches talk because we all know that uh, – we, we don't have all the answers, so when we get that chance to, to go out and, and listen to people talk and uh, guys have been doing this for you know, 30, 40 years, and uh, you know, we, we got the opportunity to listen to some, some great coaches at the clinics and, and uh, working the camps with some other great coaches, guys from the, the Pac-12 and the Big 12 um, who are just fantastic coaches, and we, we learned some things and uh, got some little wrinkles and different things that will help our, our offense, our defense, and our special teams. And at the same time, at, at, uh, those events, we also get to be around high school, high school coaches and uh, the camps, high school players. So we get the opportunity to, to again, uh, promote Western New Mexico football and, uh, and tell people what we're all about and help, uh, help build those recruiting relationships. You know, you touch on the camps. You got those coming up here soon. You know, you're going to California, going to Las Vegas, Arizona, El Paso, here in Silver City. How much have you noticed these camps have changed now? You're going into your fifth year. I mean, how have you noticed it kind of evolving now? You're going to these places again and, and doing these camps. We keep learning in terms of what the best way to do them is, the best dates when we can get the most guys there because there's just so many of them nowadays. Everyone's doing them. Uh, we like to think we're kind of a pioneer in the uh, in the satellite camp uh uh, industry a few years ago, we were one of the only schools really doing them. Uh, most schools were still just doing them on campus. Now, most Division ones are doing the satellite camps. Um, so we feel we we're kind of early in on that, and it, it was great for us. And uh, now we, we've kind of backed off doing too many camps. We just offer, you know, three in Southern California, uh, three or four, and then uh, can try and keep them on weekends when guys can get there, a couple at night. Um, our, our padded camp in San Diego we think will be a big deal. We're actually inviting a few other schools to come work it with us so the guys that come can, can uh, be out in front of you know, multiple college, uh, college staffs so it gives them just a better opportunity to get notice. Uh, so we, we've changed our format a little here and there, uh, changed locations here and there. There's been some that have been great to us the whole time. And, you know, we're always going to do one at Corona Centennial and La Mirada. Those have always been really good for us, and coaches have been great there. Uh, this year, the San Diego one will be at West Hills at my alma mater uh, that I went to uh, in, uh, in Santee, California. Uh, they just ended up wanting to help us the most and make it the best deal, so we're doing our, our padded camp there. Uh, so it's always uh, been an evolving process uh, in terms of just figuring out what the best way to do the camps is. But they've been very successful for us and a great tool for, again, getting our name out there and uh, finding prospects and you know we usually will offer some guys at the camps and, and uh, begin build build relationships and start start the recruiting process really you know now we've kind of touched about the recruiting class just kind of talk about you know the almost 40 kids you brought in you know it's getting close already it doesn't feel like it now but you know with it almost being july here you know it's going to be start of camp here soon just talk about some of how those you know the, the kids you brought in and you know uh, how they're going to be able to impact the program here next year and we feel you know very, very good about the recruiting class we brought in. We think there's a lot of strong players, a lot of guys that can that can be very good players within the RMAC. Uh, there's always going to be some freshmen that surprise you and will be able to fight for some playing time. And uh, there's a lot of them that we think can do that. Um, some of the guys are going to need a year just to develop, and that, again, that always happens. That's fine. Um, but it, overall, it's a very good class, and we know there'll be some uh, some of the freshmen that can come in and compete uh, as as freshmen right away to to, to you know play and and. and do some good stuff for us. All right, Coach, appreciate the time. Best of luck with the camps coming up. Thank you much.